Audio Wrangling is a sister site to Audio Angling, allowing people with angling and related topics to express them freely as an insight into what some of the issues were in the early part of the 21st century. My name is Phil Williams and this is a 2014 recording with Bridget Dawson from Get Hooked on Fishing during an event at a very windy Bradshaw Hall fishery on the subject of project funding. My name's Bridget Dawson, I'm the project manager for Get Hooked on Fishing in the Bolton area. And we've been running here for six and a half years. We're based at Bradshaw Hall Fisheries, which is a fantastic commercial fishery, although we do do sessions elsewhere as well. Our main concern is funding. Due to a lot of the council cuts and cutbacks within schools, funding is an issue for us. We wish that there was either companies who would be prepared to sponsor schemes such as Get Hooked on Fishing, or if there was grant funding available, because our main aim is to get young people involved in fishing. And that costs money, the top and bottom of it, you know, when you have to pay staff fees, bait, peg fees, transport costs, all that costs money. And that's what we need. We need people to put their hands in the pockets, whether that's company pockets, council funds. It is the biggest participant sport in this country. If a kid gets into fishing, they could spend hours and hours and hours and have a sport for life just doing something they enjoy. But they need to have good quality coaching to set them off. If a kid goes fishing and doesn't catch, they're not going to go again. If they go with a registered coach who's got all the kit, knows what they're doing, and the kid catches, they're going to go again and again, and they may be hooked on fishing for life. It's a worry for us because every project manager has to make sure enough money comes in to keep that scheme going. We're lucky. We've managed to keep going for six and a half years, and we are quite busy, but we would like to be busier. So, you know, maybe more promotions through schools and to get angling put on the curriculum. I know recently it's been on the news about Smithles School, and I think teachers, once they've been and then see what the benefit is to their kids, they tend to book again. A lot of our work is repeat business. What we do find is if they've got a member of staff within the school who likes angling, then that is definitely a step forward for us. But people need to come out and actually see what we're doing and see how much it could benefit their kids. We work a lot with young people with special needs, autism... ADHD, ADD, all kinds of attention problems. And the difference in those young people when they sit on a box and start concentrating, the staff can't believe it. They go from not being able to sit in a classroom still for five minutes to being sat on a box for three hours without moving. And the teachers are like, Bridget, what have you done to them? I've never seen them like this. For some kids, it's just, it really, really benefits them and helps with their patience, their understanding of having to wait for something and the smiles on the face when they catch fish is just brilliant and today's been a prime example yes absolutely we've had a real mixed bag of ages from two to probably 20 everybody's catching fish everyone's got smiles on the faces people are booking on for repeat sessions people don't want to leave their boxes after the half hour is up we're very lucky that we've got a lot of support here today from the Angling Trust and other coaches and people coming along and helping out and it's turned out to be a great day. But you still need more funds? We do. We would be able to put on more sessions, we'd be able to subsidise our open sessions. At the moment we do open sessions through the school holidays and to cover our costs we have to charge £10 a session. For some families that's not doable. If you've got two, three kids it's not doable but obviously we have to cover our staff costs and our bait costs and equipment and peg fees if we were able to offer those sessions for a fiver for instance if they were part funded we'd be twice as busy absolutely in the past we have had access to funding from Bolton Council unfortunately with all the council cuts that funding is not available and we've had to put our prices up and as a result we aren't as busy and we know that that's just because some families can't afford it. It's proven it today because all these sessions that are free today because of the bit of funding that was available from the Angling Trust, we're really, really busy.